Hello, it's Carolyn Thorne here at carolynthorne.com. Today I want to talk to you about having an off day, having a bad day. What do you do if your day starts off and, and things don't go right for you? Or if you're just feeling, I just can't really be bothered today, it's not what you want to do. Whatever it is you're meant to be doing, you don't really want to. Maybe you just know that you're not quite feeling yourself and things are going on in your head. You're talking yourself out of doing things that would be good for you. What do you do? What, what are your strategies? And um, just being aware of the fact that we all have them. We all have those off days, those days when we're not quite how we want to be. We're not presenting ourselves in the way that we want to. And, and if you're an employee, then the, the, obviously, you know, unless you're going to actually stay at home and, and have to take the day off, which is not probably what you're going to do then you, you're going to go in in the same way that you normally do. You might have moan by the coffee machine. You might not work as hard as you would on another day. It might be that you actually do some calling of somebody that you somebody owes money or something and you can have a little bit of a rant at them. And, and then you get through the day and then at last the, the day's gone and you go whoosh. It might be different if you're a business owner or if you're working from home and who do you turn to? Do you actually succumb to that temptation to watch the TV or to do the garden or something like that? And how much do you structure your day so that you really have got, haven't got that opportunity or you have got that opportunity? I mean, I just know that having an off day within your head is something about learning and growing. And, and I've learned that over my life that generally if that's going on, if something's in my head it's because some something's moving something's shifting something is settling down and i just need to let it get on with it so then some distractions might work like um going and doing some dance fitness or some some exercise of some sort having a walk but still when i've stopped those things if there's something still shifting it's still going to be shifting so i've just got to get on with it really but what do you do do you enlist a coach go talk to a bus or do you watch a film? Do you do some puzzles? Do you have some tasks that you've got a list of tasks that could be done at some point? And actually, these are tasks that you can do when your head is a bit full of other stuff and you can just go and tick some boxes. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. And I've got loads more to say on it. But today, I didn't really want to do a blog at all. But I've done a blog. So, and a video blog at that. So, we all have those days. I, I know we do. And um, I know I'll be back on form very shortly so if you've got anything anything you can say about that for anybody give any comments for another ideas i'd be very grateful to hear them and to hear about more congruent ways of of dealing with your bad day follow my blog and get in touch you can do that find me on facebook you can email me or you can follow the link under the video thank you bye